Today I want to talk to you about using field level security inside your CRM system. Why would you? What are the perils and pitfalls? Where can you find these field level security settings? How can you adjust them and how can you make them work for you? So why would you use field level security inside a CRM system? Well oftentimes there are fields that you want to keep secure. Either you don't want to allow people to have the ability to update or more to the point you only want to allow specific people to have the ability to update them and sometimes you want to keep them away from prying eyes altogether. Now it's important to remember that there are two kinds of fields in the CRM system. There are native system fields and those can't have field level security applied to them and there are custom fields, fields which you build inside a CRM that can have field level security applied to them. So for instance if on your users which represent say your sales folks your accounting folks, marketing folks, all those people inside your organization. If you wanted to track their social security number, which I don't recommend you do by the way, you could put field level security on that so that only specified individuals, perhaps in HR, were able to see and or update those things. Additionally, you may want to store things about pay rates or burden rates or commission rates at a user level. But there are lots of different ways in which you could utilize field level security within your system. Let's go take a look at where you can find these settings and how you can adjust them to work for you and your process. So first, I'm going to go down to settings. Then I'm going to go up to administration. And then finally, I'll go over to field security profiles. Now you can see that I have one set up right now as a system administrator. Let's open it up and take a look at it. So you can see from this field security profile what teams this might be applied to as well as what users outside of a team setting that this might be applied to. I don't happen to have a ton of data in my system but you can see that it's been applied to me. Uh, if you come down a little bit further you can look at the common uh, section to find field permissions. This is where the system is going to detail out each of the custom fields that have been defined in CRM as requiring field level security. So we should go take a look at how you do that. Okay, here I am at the opportunity screen. You can see on the left side of my screen I have the actual opportunity window. This is what your users would interact with and how they would enter data into an opportunity inside of your CRM system. On the right side I have the form designer. This is where I can drag and drop and move fields around the form and I can even change the requirement and I can even change the requirement level of individual fields. So right now I'm going to go ahead and add a brand new field to my opportunity form. By the way, if you opt to add a new field in this way, you should be aware that it will automatically go into the default solution. Now, if you're not utilizing solutions in your system, then you don't have anything to worry about. But if you're trying to get a custom schema name, you can see I have NEW down here, meaning that's part of the default customization. Then, now if you're not worried about that, you can see I have NEW down here at the bottom, which means this is part of the default solution. Uh, but if you are worried about that, then you're going to want to go in through the back end through your solution proper. If you don't know what that is or you're working with other administrators, you might as well just leave that alone and uh, not worry about it. I'm going to add a field here called opportunity value. And I'm going to make that a currency field and I'm going to mark that for field level security. So I'll go ahead and say save and close. And now you can see here's my opportunity value. I'm going to put that in my forecast information and I'm actually going to change this field and make it I'm actually going to change this field and I'm going to make it a two column field so that it spreads over more. You can see I've got the little key icon there which means it is part of field level security. 
once I save this and then publish it, then we can go back and take a look at how this record will now show up, or excuse me, this field will now show up in the field security profile that we were just looking at. Well, you can see I'm back here at my field security profile. It's just a simple matter of opening up this individual field, and then I can set the read, update, or create ability against any, any record in the system. Then any teams or users that get added to this particular profile will have the ability to do these things. Remember, whenever you add permissions uh, inside a CRM, CRM is additive. So as you add permissions, it'll default to the highest level of permission in the system. So if, uh, if two of my teammates are in the system and they are both listed as salespeople, which is by default, by the way, has the lowest level of access to anything in the system, and salesperson number one is given access to this field security profile, and salesperson number two is not given access to this field security profile, salesperson number one clearly is going to get the ability to read, update, and create against the opportunity value field inside of the opportunity. Anyway, I hope you found that informative and useful. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments below, and I'll be happy to respond to them in kind. Thanks, and have